we are honored to present a new segment on brain health from Panorama and Light Direction Studios, produced and directed by yours truly and Manu Sharma. Presentations are made by doctors and associates of Sunnybrook Hospital and the University of Toronto Scarborough. Today's segment of Brain Health discusses risk factors, presented by Dr. Andrew Robertson from Sunnybrook Health Sciences Center. To learn more on how you can participate, visit us at panoramatv.ca. Modifiable risk factors are things about our lifestyle that we can do to help reduce the risk for stroke, white matter disease, and dementia. These are things like diet, sleep patterns, physical activity levels, smoking, alcohol intake. The overall impact of these behavioral risk factors results in an increased vascular risk profile. Traditional vascular risk markers include obesity, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes or high blood sugar. These are things that are all prevalent in West Indian and Hispanic populations. It's important to realize that the risk of having multiple vascular risk factors is more than having the risk of each individual risk factors. From a nutritional perspective, we know that diets high in trans or saturated fatty acids increase our risk for stroke, increase our risk for dementia. But we also know that we can do things with our diet that are beneficial to us. If we have a diet high in fruits and vegetables, nuts, fish, polyunsaturated fatty acids such as olive oils, these are things that can reduce the risk for stroke, reduce the risk for dementia, and increase our cognitive health. We also know from a behavioral viewpoint that smoking or any tobacco product increases our risk for dementia and excessive alcohol intake over four to five drinks per day increases our risk for both stroke and dementia. Sleep as it turns out is a very important factor in terms of maintaining our cognitive health and studies show that individuals who sleep less than six hours a day as well as individuals who sleep more than nine hours a day have poor cognitive health, increased risk of stroke and dementia. And this is more likely to do with the quality of their sleep rather than the duration of their sleep. So individuals who sleep more than nine hours a day, even though they're sleeping for long periods, that sleep is more, like, more than likely disturbed and they're waking up frequently throughout the night. And the, the lack of a restful sleep is contributing to the high risk in that situation. The flip side of that is that we know preventative measures that we can take to reduce this risk by becoming more physically active. And recommendations are to get at least 150 minutes per week of a moderate to intense level of physical activity. If you or a loved one are thinking of participating in the future of brain health, please phone 416-480-6100, extension 2317, or email jennifer.bray at sunnybrook.ca. That's jennifer.bray at sunnybrook.ca. If you would like more information, please phone Panorama TV, 416-286-8192.